Minecraft is a game of extremes. From the ability to do insanely impressive parkour, to improbable odds of chance, to the seemingly impossible speed at which the game can be completed from beginning to end. The speed at which blocks break is no exception. While average breaking speeds of blocks are nothing special alone, factors that affect the speed can drastically change that. As almost all effects of this nature stack in Minecraft, there are seemingly endless possibilities and combinations to how slowly a block can be broken. This video will focus on one of the many in Minecraft, the game of extremes. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to find out how using effects a block can take billions of years to mine. There are three quick rules associated with this to make sure that this is measurable. Number one, the block must be breakable through non-glitchable or buggable means. Number two, the block must be destroyed by the player directly and not by TNT or other means. And number three, commands are only allowed to be used to give effects to the player not obtainable in standard survival. Throughout all these demonstrations, Obsidian is going to be the base block. And with all that out the way, let's get right into the video. Hope you enjoy. To begin with, I started with the most basic of Minecraft. No redstone and no commands, just what you can find on the surface. I began with a wooden pickaxe, which takes 50 seconds to mine obsidian. A fist in Minecraft is 5 times slower than a wooden pickaxe, and therefore mining obsidian with your fist takes 250 seconds. For this section, the slowest way to mine a block was mining an obsidian block with your bare fist, whilst floating fully submerged underwater, with Mining Fatigue 3 using 60 Elder Guardians to refresh the cycle every single time it goes down. Oh, shit. FBI, open up! Breaking Obsidian with your fist takes 250 seconds, whilst floating in water this is multiplied by 25 to give you 6,250. With 60 Elder Guardians introduced to refresh Mining Fatigue 3 every time it goes, as there is a 60 second cooldown, there is a 0.027% efficiency rate, resulting in mining obsidian with your bare hand while submerged in water with 60 Elder Guardians taking 231,481 seconds, or 2.679 days. We are only just beginning. This section is very similar to the previous section in the way that it uses bare fists to mine obsidian whilst floating underwater, except with a slight addition. And although it's a small change, it has a huge impact. This section allows for command block use, giving the opportunity to affect myself with mining fatigue level 255. This is hugely important and complex, not for the sheer complexity of the outcome, but also how it breaks the algorithms and data within Minecraft. Something not easily achieved as Ant Venom has shown. Go check him out after this as this section of the video relies heavily on the data his video uncovered. As the mathematics plunges into such a strange number it is difficult to work with, the immense size of this I will talk about shortly. After the total equation has been accounted for, the result is in the quin quadra quin quadragin the quin the quin quadragintillion of years, or a 35 in this case, followed by 146 digits before terminating at the singles column. That is in years. This number is so large that there is no way to compare it to anything else comprehensible. In fact, the largest time frame known to man, the creation of the universe, pales in comparison to this number, as it is not even a quadrillionth of a percentage the size of this number. You would be mining this block from beginning to the end of the universe. But clearly, this isn't correct. And not even for the reason you might be thinking, that the number is just so absurdly large. But instead, but you see, Minecraft has an integer limit on it. Which basically means there is only a certain size of numbers the game can store for certain values. As discovered by Ant Venom as well, the highest possible integer value in Minecraft is negative or positive 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, uh, you know what, I, I can't be asked, this number. Now this brings down our quinquadragintillion to a more manageable quintillion. 
Now input this number back into the equation I have. Yeah, that. And we get 292 billion years. Including all of Minecraft's limitations and possibilities, this number will come back as taking 292 billion years to mine. And that's if once you reach that point, the game doesn't crash or has been removed. Hmm. Time to have an existential crisis. The method I used to work this out might come in a following video where I explain the information and other facts around as well as adding some things that were not included in this video such as using redstone clocks and circuits to slow down how long this takes but in comparison it basically doesn't change the outcome. But for this video that is all I've got. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video very much as I worked extremely hard making this video and had to do some actual maths for a YouTube video. Yeah, that was some fun, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below any questions, theories you have. I'd love to read them and subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.